Well, I don't know about you, but of course the excitement is palpable as we count down. Well, I guess the countdown is actually over because we are in election week. And of course, the special votes will be cast today and tomorrow. And that will be for people who will obviously not be able to make it uh, to the voting stations on Wednesday. Either they are infirm, in which case they will be visited by uh, the Electoral Commission officials at their homes, or perhaps you working away from home, uh, whereby you'll also be allowed, if you have, of course, applied to cast a special ballot today and tomorrow. And then Wednesday, it's D-Day for the rest of us. But of course, it's not an election unless we get to the rock. And that's where it all comes together. And that's where Leanne is this morning because we will be bringing this to you live. So let's cross to the election IEC headquarters for uh, this week. Leanne will be there in the start of the week. I'll be there. We'll be alternating later on in the week. But right now, Leanne is there to tell us a little bit more about what is coming from her side from there this morning. So let's cross over to Leanne at the IEC Centre. Sakina, a very, very good morning to you and a very good morning to the rest of South Africa as well. And yes, indeed, I think you nailed it. There isn't an election without the rock. And we mean that in every, every single way. This is the Results Operations Center. This is where everything happens during elections. And your results, as soon as they are counted and brought in, this is where everything starts happening. And you'll start seeing this being a hive of activity as the week gets underway. So uh, where I'm standing, right now is a podium. This is a, a very familiar podium, I'm sure, for most of you. You uh, get to see uh, any press conference that's held or any address, whether it be any issue that has come up. And uh, when they start announcing different things, this is where they will do it. And also, once the results have been done and declared, they're also done here. So any special announcement or any press briefing, this is where you'll find uh, the heads of the IEC and the media liaison officers. They'll all be sitting here. So, gosh, can you believe it, guys? It's here. 2019, your ex is your say. I hope you're getting ready to cast your vote. You know Wednesday, as Sakina said, is D-Day. But of course, all special votes are going to be held today and tomorrow, wherever you are in South Africa. If you've applied for that, then it'll be your opportunity to start voting. What I want to do now is just remind you about The Rock and what it's all about and how it operates here, because it's very quiet now. But believe me, we are just here to set the scene because when Wednesday comes, this place is going to become a hive of activity. So it's so nice that we've kind of got it to ourselves so we can actually show you everything uh, before it becomes really buzzing. So these are some of the tables of the political parties. Um, you can see every single party that is contesting. We're talking about 48 parties. Uh, they've all got a desk here. They're all able to see what's going on. There's your Achang. That's one party. And I know all the stories are going to start coming out. You know, are these political parties going to survive these elections? Elections. There's the Achang, and of course right behind that you've got COPE. Then of course you've got the opposition party, the DA, in the corner over there. And the parties just keep on going on. You can see all of them lined up here on this side. Uh, obviously these chairs over here, you'll see we spoke to the press conferences and anything that does happen that needs to be announced is announced on this podium. And then members of the media or anybody that needs to hear some of the information, analysts, uh, professors, anybody, they sit here and they get the information from them. 99% of the time, we as the SABC take those press conferences live as well. So you as a South African can also sit in on those press conferences and hear some of the announcements. Now, you'll see just over there beyond this uh, red tape, that's where some of the IEC officials are sitting, a lot of them. And that's when the results do come in. When you look at that from an aerial view, it's actually in the shape of a cross as well. So it really has got that, that feel that you're in an election and it is your vote that makes this a successful election. And those are the kind of stories we're going to be looking out for during these particular first day. That first day when the results start coming in, we start seeing polling stations, have they opened in time? Uh, what is the weather like? Because the weather is also something that plays a very critical, critical role in voter turnout. Because voter turnout in these elections is something uh, that the political parties are hoping is going to be as big as they are expecting. I mean, anything below 70%, 
70%, I think, is going to be a great disappointment. But when you start listening to some South Africans that are saying they're staying away from the polls, that's not what you really want to hear, is it? And that's not what political parties want to hear either. So the political parties are going to be seated here as well. And this is also quite an interesting section. In fact, this section is going to be lit, to say the least. Here's the ANC sitting right in the front watching. They've got the bird's eye view. In the corner there, you can see the ATM. That's a party that is one to watch in these elections. I mean, in uh, uh, news, you saw so many different articles coming out yesterday, affidavits that are uh, claiming a lot of ANC members, our former President Jacob Zuma and Ace Mahashula's involvement in the formation, and that's all something that we're going to be hearing about for a long time. Then, of course, you've got the EFF. They held their final rally. There's their par uh, table just over there, and uh, they held their final rally as well as the ANC. We also see the IFP having their final rally yesterday. Here's the BLF. I mean, they've got their table right next to uh, the EFF. So, you know, this is a sight we've never really seen before uh, in elections. I mean, we've been covering elections for a very, very long time. But when you're actually standing here and you see these tables together and you see the diversity of political parties that are going to be represented in these elections, I can tell you this is when you realize where we as South Africans have come over these years. I mean, this is democracy at play like never before. The choices are there. It is now up to you to make your decision as to which one of these political parties deserves your vote. So we're going to wrap it up, but I think the best way to wrap this up is to actually give you a view of where we're going to be seated for the duration of this. So if you have a look there, that is the SABC set. It is a pleasure to introduce it to you for the very first time, South Africa. That is where we're going to be seated. That is where we're going to be watching absolutely everything unfold here at these elections. South Africa goes to the polls 2019. And believe me, SABC is the channel to watch. You are not going to miss a beat here. We're going to bring you everything as and when it happens. So I hope you've got a great understanding of what to expect. It's Monday morning, Wednesday, we go to the polls and we're going to be here every single day. All right, let's go back to the Johannesburg studio now and find out what's happening on the sporting front. I think Valen's got all those details for us.